lot of cool temperatures today. This was the coolest day of the week, and we'll see a little bit of warmer weather tomorrow. We're kind of at the coolest point right now. It'll be a little warmer Friday, a little warmer Saturday, but probably won't be able to shake off the clouds quite yet. I think the clouds will probably fill the sky all day tomorrow and even the majority of Saturday. So it could catch a few showers. There's almost nothing out there now. A little bit of drizzle once in a while, but the shower chances could increase a bit more Friday and then maybe one or two little showers left over the weekend. A warmer weekend, though, as temperatures get back at least into the 70s or maybe lower 80s on Saturday and should be in the 80s most everywhere by Sunday and then probably stays fairly warm through next week coming up. But a long range forecast and it may be a cool down very, very late next week. If you're still hoping for more cool weather, the first one five Doppler network pretty dry, but occasionally get a little bit of sprinkles or drizzle. Most of it's offshore, but once in a while where the clouds are thickest in the valley, get a little bit of mist or drizzle falling out. But there's not much coming out of the clouds, just enough to maybe annoy you if you're if you're out there. 56 in Westlaco right now, 59 in Port Isabel, and 58 in Edinburgh. And this has been about as warm as it's been all day, kind of about at about the high point of the day right now. From here. We'll probably only drop a little bit. It's not going to be one of those cold nights where it gets a lot colder. We might drop like two or three degrees, four degrees or so with the rest of the night. It's just not going to cool off too much. Still have that northerly wind flow, a light breeze from the north, about 10 to 20 miles per hour. Strong is near the coast where we'll stay a little bit breezy again through tomorrow. This evening, if you're outdoors, temperatures fall gradually just a couple of degrees into the 50s and probably not much cooler than about the mid 50s overnight. Could be a little bit of drizzle here and there, but mostly just clouds around and very little rain falling out. You can see the satellite radar, though, shows kind of a little weak area of low pressure offshore. That's still keeping most of the showers out there, but occasionally some of this drizzle or sprinkle action may move in tomorrow and even at times over the weekend. But I think rainfall amounts still, if you're hoping for a good soaking rain, probably not going to happen. We're talking maybe like a tenth of an inch or less, a quarter of an inch at the very most in the next couple of days. Just not much rain actually coming out of those clouds. 50s in the morning tomorrow, then 60s by afternoon. It may make it into the 70s in the lower valley. We'll show you that coming up, but the clouds aren't going anywhere. See through tonight, clouds everywhere. Occasionally a little bit of drizzle or sprinkles come into parts of the lower valley and maybe spreading inland overnight. But again, rainfall amounts are very, very light. Tomorrow, some of the models do hint at maybe a little bit more rain. You know, instead of a little bit of drizzle, maybe a more persistent drizzle or a, a few sprinkles uh, at times later in the afternoon and evening. So it might be a little wet for football games tomorrow evening and definitely going to be cloudy and still and not too warm. I think evening temperatures will be in the 60s across the area. And uh, temperatures in the uh, 60s. What's Dina trying to say to me? For tonight's game. For tonight's game. Oh, I'll show the football. Dina's always concerned about the football forecast. I'll show you the football forecast for tonight's game in about 15 minutes. Uh, or, uh, <laughs> I can't show everything all at once, so you, know, you have to wait a little bit. But yeah, there's still a lot of clouds around for this evening. You notice by Saturday, clouds start to break up maybe late at night, so it's possible we could see the sun at least break through the clouds more so by Sunday. So first 1570 forecast clouds the next few days, a couple sprinkles or a shower in spots the next few days. I think tomorrow afternoon and evening has a little bit better chance than right now. And then Saturday, most of the day is looking dry. There might be one or two little showers. And then by Sunday, there's a weak front trying to come in, but it's probably going to fall apart. So it might have enough punch to it, maybe to kick off a couple of isolated showers Sunday or Monday, but rain chances overall look pretty small. We're talking maybe like 30% or less. Next week's looking warm, though. You see all those 80s coming back by Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, well into the 80s with partly in the mostly sunny skies. Some of the longer range forecasts kind of hinted maybe another cold front by about next Friday, Saturday, or Sunday. So we'll keep tracking that ahead in your first one five forecast. Dina?